What's up, guys? Not the winner back at it again. We have maxed out our Archon, and we can finally get this build out to you guys. So we have the Havoc form fully complete. Cooldown is 63 seconds right now. Uh, and we have the Void Cloak right now. So the perfect dodging from this is going to get a benefit from Feedback Loop. So we want to actually utilize this one more than the Ammo Regeneration. And, um, you know, it, if it auto-evades for you, then it... It does reduce the timer on this, but you are going to be getting a decoy spawn that's going to distract them each time, which buys you more time to pull off what you need to pull off. We are still running Shock Device and Grounding Stone for the increase to the shock damage, and that way the Feedback Loop deals more damage, the Enigma deals more damage, and we have the Bright Steel Ring for the fastest rolls so we can go 90 weight without worrying. On our Ruined Heart, which is for increased health regeneration and generating mod power over time, we have additional armor, we have additional elemental damage, and skill damage. Uh, and uh, with the Black Pawn stamp reducing the cooldown of skills, that was a nice swap up there. Thanks to a commenter for reminding me about this ring. I hadn't scooped it up myself, and when you mentioned it, I went, oh yeah, reducing 10% of skill cooldowns would be amazing, considering you want to keep Havoc form up all the time, or at least Void Cloak up for perfect dodges. Uh, Enigma is running Bandit for the ammo to go right back into the gun. We are also running Refunder on the Huntmaster. Feel free to swap off of Huntmaster. You don't necessarily have to use this gun. And uh, feel free to swap whatever mod you might prefer here. I'm just throwing on Firestorm for this run. Uh, I was trying the Voltalic. Um, here, I'll show it. Oop, not that. Uh, I was trying the Voltalic Runger, but it just wasn't really dealing enough damage yeah shooting that can make it overcharge and deal a ton of damage it's really really fun and useful in that degree but a lot of the bosses i was running into typically are already through it or past it by the time you're already hitting it and it just kind of didn't fit with what i was doing um let's go into the actual classes so we have the archon max now and we're running havoc form and what we're getting from these perks now is increased mod damage by 50% and grease, uh, and grease and grants 10% mod crit chance. Now my mods are dealing way, way more damage. Super useful. We have power creep. After casting a mod, 5% of mod power spent regenerated to all allies for 10 seconds. While it's active, you also gain 5% mod, mod power generation. Uh, Spirits within for reducing mod power requirements per charge and instantly refund 15% of mod power costs split evenly against active mods. And then using a relic giving me 200 mod power for both equipped mods, and also I get 500 from the relic itself, and an additional 100 to the current mod. And we have increased mod and skill casting speed, so we can get those skills off quickly in a pinch and never have to worry about anything. Void Cloak for the dodge, which leads into the sprinting to add st or evading to add stacks of momentum for more um for more ranged and melee critical chance and then we also are running the um bonus damage against distracted enemies reduce cost to evade or combat slide and perfect dodges gaining additional reduction um in cost uh, and then using a relic reducing our threat generation so very 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 useful things going on right now in this build and then we're gonna go ahead and uh show off the traits real quick we have Flash Caster and Untouchable as our two forced ones. We have Fortify maxed out for armor effectiveness and Vigor maxed out for health. We have Regrowth half for just 0.75 regen and Triage at half for 25% healing mod. Our Spirits max for mod power generation and our Expertise is max for skill cooldown. Bark Skin is at 9 out of 10 for 9% DR and Siphoner is maxed out for the 3% lifesteal. Going over to the character, if you look, he's at 78.6 total DR, so pretty much as tanky as you can be right now due to the current update. And uh, let's go ahead and give it a run. Yeah, that one tears through enemies, and then if you want to make sure that you're getting your perfect dodges, you can activate this one. Move on in. Hello, friend. I don't know, you don't get to escape me that easily.
Right, yeah, as you guys can see, deals great damage on Apocalypse, is able to tear through most enemies, and when you need to dodge, you're set up perfectly with that dodge ability. And we're almost about to get our Archon skill back already. So we're going to be constantly able to go into Archon form, basically you kill a couple mobs, go back into Archon, kill waves, and then throw up your dodges again. You can leave the form early, it just makes the cooldowns start over, but you move pretty slow in the form, that's probably the biggest downfall to it. Uh, so I would definitely say like, make sure you're in the right position when you activate it, and you don't have to travel a long distance to get to a boss afterwards. So yeah, pretty nice there with the Firestorm effect as well. Makes life really, really easy. Um, so far, I'm actually really, really enjoying this build. We'll just have to see what kind of bosses we get. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Me the key. All right, guys, we have made it to the boss now, and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna start off with a few basics, roll past, and then blast with uh, the fire, which we absolutely missed. We bounced on the wall there, so we just started throwing out our thunder. And the reason why I multi stack, see how like when I'm multi stacking 41, 49, 47, uh, 57, 66. So it's tough to get the uh, actual correct angles to get your things to actually affect in the normal rod method. So I just stack them on top of her to increase the damage early on. Then I go into the Archon form here, Havoc, and just start blasting away. Still can't get a very good angle on this boss for the most part, but there's times where, as you can see, the health just starts melting away and uh, you're able to get some good damage in. Then the next thing here is getting a good firestorm. Watch that health melt away as we get the firestorm on and the stacks start to go up. So it caused, uh, if you notice that big chunk that went away, the fire caused one of the things that they were going to throw to explode in their hand, causing a mass amount of damage to them at once. So bringing fire to a fight like this can be very useful. And firestorm's a really nice one when you get bonus mod damage because it's already decently powerful. It pulls lighter enemies into its circle and doesn't let them leave and just constantly deals crazy high damage. Like firestorm, if I walk into it, kills me. So then, yeah, we're going through, and then I finally decide to use that perfect dodge skill right about here, right? Yeah, yeah, so I put it on here, and uh, now we get the free perfect dodges. Could have been using this the whole fight. If you notice, I'm about to get my Archon back already, so I would have already gotten this back had I used it at the start, and it would have allowed me to get a little bit more DPS in without having to worry about the dodge. That time I shot the bomb out of her hand there, so she took some extra damage and it bought me extra time until I got my Archon back. <clears throat> so with her where she's at I figured I could just melt her down using Archon and figured I'd finish off the rest of the fight that way so we took out two and a half bars in like 1.5 seconds there and uh, you know for for this difficulty level when you're melting that much hit points in such a short time it can be crazy just remember though using the dodge lowers the time and if you don't use the dodge you're going to get torn apart so make sure you are careful when you do switch into the Havoc, because if you aren't careful, then you're going to die very quickly. If this video was helpful, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.